I'm Janos Wilder from the Carriage House. So excited for this partnership with Tucson Medical Center. We're really looking forward to bringing you some healthy recipes, some cooking tips. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and some fun cooking. If you like salmon as much as I do, and I love salmon, it's one of my favorite fish, you're going to want to know how to cook it properly. We're going to show you how to saute salmon. Now, first let's talk about the salmon. Let me tell you what I look for in salmon. I look for salmon, first of all, that's fresh. I look for salmon that's been fed on a healthy organic diet. I don't want any dyes added to the salmon. I like farm-raised salmon because the fat content's really high. Those are high omega-3 fats. It's really good for you. I like great wild salmons as well, but it's really the criteria is about sustainability and what they're fed. So wild salmon obviously eat in the wild, so you're not controlling what they eat, but they have a great diet. And farm-raised salmon, you want to make sure they're fed on an organic diet. So whenever you're sauteing, start with a hot pan. The pan's been heating up here. We're using a little olive oil in here. That's pretty hot right now. Give it another second. I want to salt and pepper my fish. Patting it on there so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so why are we starting with a hot pan? We don't want it to stick, and we don't want it to be greasy. And so a hot pan and hot oil will sort of seal in the flavors and seal the fish. So let's add There we go. Now we're just gonna let that go. This salmon will only take about five minutes to, I like my salmon medium rare. You might like it a little less cooked. You might like it a little more cooked. You control that by how long you cook it. I'm just keeping it moving in here. So how do you know when your salmon's done? Well, while it's cooking, you've got a lot of context clues here. Look at the side of your salmon. So here on this side, you can see that it's cooked on the bottom. It's starting to cook for the center. We're going to let it go just a little further. I, as I said, I like my medium rare, so we're not going to go too much longer. I know that's browning nice and just nice. It's going to be beautiful when I turn it over. I'll do that in another minute or so. But so you watch how the salmon cooks. It's also, now it's already starting to absorb heat. So when I turn it over, it's not going to take as long as you think. I'm not going to get it all the way through the center, then I'll, I'll overcook it at that point, at least for my taste. So now, flip it over. Look at the color on that. That is exactly what we're looking for. So it's, now it's going to start coming up the sides there. That's what you're looking for to tell when it's done. If you like it really cooked, cooked a little more towards medium or more, you're going to cook it all the way through there. Medium rare, you're going to cook it just like a piece of meat, most of it all the way through, or rare, not very far at all. So as we let that cook, why don't we get the rest of our plate together? So, salmon is great. You can eat it by itself, you can have it on a sandwich, you can have it with scrambled eggs, you can, you can cook it with almost anything. So some of the things that we've done before are some beautiful um, minted carrots, be great with salmon. We made the broccoli rob with the farro and the raisins. That's what we're going to do today. Fantastic. And we're going to serve this with a little bit of the cauliflower sauce that we made. So this is doing well. We're going to put a little bit of farro in here. So this is the farro, the ancient grain with the broccoli rob, raisins. Citrus, fresh herbs. That is just about ready. So there's a principle in cooking called carrying over. 
It means once you remove something from the heat, the internal heat that's already been generated is going to continue the cooking process. So you want to cook it from a little bit under, unless you're going to stick it right in your mouth right away, which you're not because it's too hot. So we're going to, that's ready. It's going to carry over just a little bit. It's going to be absolutely perfect. Now we're going to add a little bit of our cauliflower sauce. And we reserve some fresh mint. Remember the mints and the farro and the broccoli rob. So we're going to be, we reserve some of the leaves of the fresh mint to garnish this with. Yeah. And now you have this beautiful dish. It's as pretty as it is, healthy, great to eat, fun to cook, nutritious, delicious. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and fun cooking.